Hey, what's up, guys? Be here again doing the daily stock watch list review for April 3rd. And today I put SPY, Apple, AMD, Amazon, BA, Beyond, Facebook, Netflix, NVIDIA, and Tesla. I did a 10 stock watch list again, uh, just like Wednesday. I'm going to try and do at least 8 to 10, or at least 6 to 10 every, every day now. Uh, a little more fun doing the list, as well as I will be live streaming um, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday of every day starting next week um going over my watch list watching we make it all kinds of stuff so tune into that that'll be 30 minutes or more before the market 30 45 minutes before the market uh opens so let's get into the review so i did 253 and 250 for the break above and below on spy 253 was clearly a super solid resistance so that was a good line that's pre-market high it's all that was nothing crazy even double topped it that would have been really good entry, honestly, after it rejected to short it. But um, just going over the vanilla plays, you could have played the patient plays. So on, a good entry on SPY would have definitely been on the rejection. Like I said, getting in early is just pointless. At that point, it's just not right. You're, you're just playing too aggressive. These any right, Anything right here, that would have been a good like 40-50% confident play. But this right here, the 80% confident play, that would have been to get in. That would have been when to get in. I mean, look, lower high, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower high, failed to come back up, double top, lower low, lower low. I mean, you had no reason to even exit this trade all day once you got in, so that would have been pretty good. Let's move this over here. The next one on the list was Apple. We did 246 and 242.35. Again, the patient play. I did it at a more aggressive pre-market level here. I mean, that was right here again. I mean, this is all kind of choppy, choppy, choppy. You had volume picking up in different places. So that would have been kind of hard to stay in. I mean, if you got in and you stayed in, that would have been good. But again, being patient, waiting for that smoother rejection. I mean, you didn't really get a whole lot of smooth rejection here. You got it here, here. I mean, you didn't have a whole lot of fun volume in any of this, though. Once you got to here, I probably would have set another lower line after I saw all that that much choppiness. I would have set a line there as well. Because once you got, let's say you did get in in this zone, that would have been a, another aggressive entry after finding more consolidating. And then playing below that, exiting if you get above it. So, I mean, you could have definitely adjusted and turned this into a really profitable play, getting into that early. That would have been good. IV would have screwed you if you got into some same day contracts, but I mean, IV and Theta would have screwed you, especially right here with all the consolidating. Next one was AMD. We did 44.60. This is the break above. And then we had 43.90. So AMD, pretty one directional after the patient play period. Or the weak hand period, sorry. That's what I'm going to call that. Getting in on the rejection. I mean, you never really got your rejection. You did have a lower high, though, so that would have been pretty smart to get in on that. And then you saw volume pickups. You saw momentum starting to drop more. That's good. Setting your stop loss above, that would have been solid. 41.70, damn. AMD did some moves today. Amazon. Amazon was pretty one-directional. This was in the aftermarket stream. I was doing a... Just patterns people could have played during the day. Because you had a bunch of like really hardcore descending looking patterns playing um, as it was approaching my level 2. So that would have been another really good entry. Especially right here on this rejection. Again, the rejection, always the more confident play. Dropped so much. I know everyone's not going to play Amazon, but it is nice to put on the list so everybody could see all sizes of stocks on here. I mean, I'm going from AMD and... I mean, I did have LK on here, but not anymore. LK is probably done with on the list for a while. So we had BA. BA, we had 126 and 120. So BA, probably better not to play it at all today, honestly. I've been trying to stay away from BA, uh, especially on Fridays. Break above, you definitely could have played. Especially towards the end of the day. That would, Damn, look at volume. 
volume was kind of non-existent till about right here. So that would have been the patient play of the day on BA. Any other one? I mean, you easily could have played this again, but let's just just don't trade here. Don't trade. You don't need. You don't have to be in a trade at all times. You don't have to be in a trade. But as soon as market opens, just wait. Wait for the patient play. Trust me. Um, ways to avoid the fake outs here because these are both clearly good fake outs. This one not really that much of a fake out because you didn't really get a good confirmation on that. Yeah, volume rose a little bit, but I mean, you had a that's pretty much bearish engulfing right there. Not entirely, but close enough. That wasn't really a strong enough push. Here, I don't think I'd be mad if you entered here either. That would have been a pretty good fake out. Again, that's why we set our stop losses though, because this happens. In the day, you would have been screwed a bit. All between here and here, if you were holding, your IV was catching up to you. Your IV was hurting you and your theta was catching up. Unless you got some good contracts, but if you're scalping, you don't need to be getting four weeks out. Beyond, we got 60 and then 57. Oh, so this isn't even right. Beyond, pretty much range traded between my levels today. I set some passive levels because there was there was bound to be another one of these U days. I keep seeing this. This happens a lot on this one. You just get those weird days where it, it does a lot of things and it comes right back to square one. The real drop was in extended hours and then Thursday. Nothing really happened a whole lot of the other days. Every other day was pretty boring for beyond. So hopefully next week we get some more excitement. This is the stock I wanted to go over really bad though. So I'm going to delete all this. Start from scratch. 159, 157. That was your break above, break below. Didn't have any chance to even get in for the break above, so no, no worries there. Uh, not really a big fake out here. But what I did notice when I was doing the stream was people could have played this squeeze that popped up. You got all this, and you got that. It's a bit of a slight symmetrical triangle. And the, just like in one of my videos, the double confirmation. This is one of the first time I've seen this, but today you got a triple confirmation. So I did this. your first confirmation is breaking out of the squeeze, your symmetrical triangle. Your second confirmation would be once it breaks out of one of these lines. But just so happens today that I had a break below level there today on one of these patterns. So you actually had three points of confirmation. You had it once it broke out of the squeeze right here. You had it once it broke my level. And you had the rejection and fail of the uh, outer outer squeeze line. The uh, I do outer squeeze lines for double confirmation and another strat as well as my break below strat. And these go hand in hand with each other all the time. But I was telling the chat, this all right right here. If you enter, in, if you enter anywhere in the squeeze, you're bullshitting. You have no clue what's happening. You're a bullshitter. Do not enter here. That's too aggressive. You're entering early, and you you have no clue what the outcome is. This is all choppiness. Entering here after it broke, I would say that's probably twenty percent confidence. Forty percent once it did the double confirmation below my level. Forty fifty percent breaking this. 80 90 percent that's like an almost entirely hundred percent confirmation like that you can't get it better than that that is clean go back and draw this on your chart too for some little homework see what see what i'm seeing you know really get the feel for it but that's three points of confirmation so anybody who got into facebook today good on you good on you amazing play netflix and then we have nvidia and tesla Whoa, what was I drawing? Oh. Some extreme downward channels. <laughs> so on Netflix here, good break below. Definitely, you had that small, you had that rising, or sorry, descending channel, and then you had it reject my, uh, reject my break below at the top of this descending channel. That is super strong confirmation right there. Super strong. Always draw lines when you see all this. This is why we avoid the weak hand period. You don't want to be in this. Skip all this. It's a no-no. Get into here. Strong confirmation. Now NVIDIA. So most of the list was a hit today. I mean, it normally is, but... These are like exceptional huge wins. I'll go over why I had that line. So the break above was 257. The break below was 252. 
Had pretty strong confirmation here. Okay, let's do the opposite of what I wanted to do. Strong confirmation again on the rejection. And I had that line there because in this indicator we're testing, it had one for yesterday's low, which let's just put it right here. Make it level. All right, whatever. Extend to the right. And that would have been a perfect profit target. Anything, or at least a good scale out position. Let's say you got two, you could have sold one here. Wait for the rejection. Maybe even entered another one because you saw the rejection. You know, you, these are advanced, you know, day trading tra strategies. But you could have easily just sold one, waited, sold two. I mean, once you, but that was far enough. You just sold two. You're being greedy past that point. Just sell. Who cares how farther it goes? Be disciplined. But that's why uh, that's a good little thing to go off of. You know, check the date. T you need to check previous day close, previous day open, previous day high, previous day low. And then high and low of pre-market. Those are six amazing lines that you can apply to your to an everyday chart, and they'll be used. I promise you, they will be used repeatedly and repeatedly. Let's go over the last one, Tesla. So the lines I set break below. I won't even do the break above because it's way up there. Five thirty-one was the break above. Below, I did five fifteen with a target of five oh seven. So when I put these, I mean, if you actually get, you know, below this, you can, and you, you're already in, use this as a profit target range or a uh, foot of reference. If it's strongly pushing through this, it's probably going to keep going. So, uh, always remember that. And then the below that is 500. I put below that is 500. so I set, I even set the psychological support. So I got a psychological support. This is a historical support. This is a pre-market level. So this was this was entry. This was second possible entry. This was true profit target range. But if it breaks any of these, you can keep playing it. Don't don't think you can't. It's too late. And it's, and it's not overextended. This isn't that big of a fall for Tesla. It, ha it can definitely go more. It can have a hundred dollar a day if it wanted. Amazing confirmation though. Once it broke the five hundred, always remember those whole numbers right now are especially important. But that would have been a good entry. Uh, the bear flag would have been a good entry. That's a bear flag. And then the... It's like a three bar play almost, but it's a lot more than three three uh, candles. The rejection, probably of this. That would have been another good entry. Uh, the rejection under the 500. Seeing it break that strong under 500, not, not being able to come back up. That would have been a good entry. And then you see clearly it dropped all the way to 468 there. Yeah. So uh, please take all this in mind when you play the list. There's definitely a lot of versatility in it. There's a lot of craft to work on once you're playing these lists. But um, you can always DM me for any help, comment on the video. But uh, I hope you liked the video. Please share to comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you on the next one.